James Shillington from Fig Securities. James, welcome to the program. Initial reaction in the fixed income space to this news of more stimulus coming from the Chinese Central Bank? Well, it's just the Chinese Central Bank joining the global trend of uh, adding more liquidity to the system and really looking at it broadly. Anything that's positive for China and looking to stimulate demand over there is a positive for Australia. So we're expecting to see a pretty strong bid, bid for bonds today. Uh, again, it's going to be a risk on tone, just as more money floods into the system and the global scramble for the year will just continue. Mm -hmm. So equities in favour uh, and that's the continuing theme. I'm curious to get your thoughts on the fact that some uh, European sovereign debts are actually paying a negative yield. So that mm -hmm. means that you're actually paying the government to hold your money. That's right. How, how does that work? Well, it's extraordinary. So if you're looking at a, a one year Swiss uh, government bond, for example, if you were to place one dollar in that uh, bond today, a year from now you'd be returning, for example, 90, 99 cents. So it's quite an extraordinary situation for investors uh, that they find themselves uh, positioned against. But what that means is that people just continue to add risk in this environment. So investors want to pick up that extra one to two percent, really just to avoid those uh, negative returns. And what do you make of the news that's coming out of the um uh, of the ECB in regards to Greek uh, this morning. Mm. Oh, again, it's just uh, going to add to the volatility that we've seen in the bond market this week. It's been a very difficult week for bond traders locally and, and across uh, the US and Europe. I mean, overnight we saw US 10 years trade in a 10 basis point range. Uh, looking at the local market, we've seen the Australian government bond 10 year. Mm -hmm. uh, that's traded in about 24 basis point range over the week. Uh, so trying to position your book against some of this volatility is quite challenging. So are you seeking any shelter or finding any opportunities then in the corporate bond space here in Australia? Well, the bid for fixed income continues. I mean, it's a stable asset class. Uh, I mean, as our, our clients continue to switch out of those uh, equities that they've had a fantastic run in and buy some higher yielding bonds, which will insulate them somewhat uh, against some of the uh, global volatility. I mean, we're trading names such as Fortescue Metals Group, Virgin Australia, which of course is benefiting from the low oil price. Some of those yields are 7 to 10 percent, so there's some pretty attractive opportunities there. Yeah, and, and quite a lot of new bond issuance in Australia as well so far this month, from yeah. what I understand. Oh, it's been a fantastic week for, for primary markets. Uh, we saw ANZ finalise their $750 million uh, hybrid transaction. Uh, we also saw Rabobank come to Australia and issue a kangaroo bond. They did a billion dollars across a, a dual tranche five-year piece. And we also have seen James Hardy return to the bond market. Uh, they're issuing some eight-year eight notes in US dollars. They're going to trade around 6%. Okay, James, thanks for checking in. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. James Shillington there joining us from Fig Securities.